it's time for the bingo break. With your hosts, Bob Morella and Karen Tate. Bingo master, Sean Mooney. The Dave Smith Five. And our psychic advisor joins us. And now, here's Bob and Karen. My friend loves to <laughs> Welcome. It's Friday. You like Fridays. A very important Friday, too. What's important about it? It's April Fools. You're kidding me. Yeah, so be very careful. Oh. You know, Why? anything could happen. Why? What are you going to do? There isn't anybody around here who would do something. You know. Childish pranks like yeah. that, right? Would, no, there certainly isn't. No Bob. place on bingo break for that, right? No, no chance. Huh. Not, not Dave, here. Dave, you wouldn't do anything like that, would you? No. No. <laughs> Look, what an innocent face. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're into the more serious stuff, right? Yes. Hey. Okay. Did you what happened? Didn't you just see what happened? Bob. I didn't see that. What? Bob. Somebody's messed with my glass here. Is there a hole in it? A dribble cup. Yeah. Uh, did, I guess you missed it. Uh, Couldn't have been old innocent day. Did folks <laughs> teach you anything? They teach you how to drink? You, you don't have anything to do with this, do you, Bob? Are you kidding? You I think there's a lot of guilty like faces in this crew out did here. Maybe notice, somebody uh, in the band. Paul, I don't trust him. Did you notice uh, Paul's got his dark our glasses pal on. over here behind me? Oh, he's back. Franz, what, Frankie. Why he's is he back, back again? I don't know. He's doing something to that epic photo or painting. That... Liz doesn't bother me. I have art to do. Yes. He's here due to a diminishing number of requests, I might add. Do they have April Fools over in France? I don't know. He looks might... like he's working on one right now. He was the only... <laughs> The only one. I understand we've got uh, a hot game, so we went, mm -hmm. we went, you know, let's get it going. All righty. Uh, that was not me, pal. Yeah. Why do you think Yeah, it couldn't that? have been you. He no no so chance. Well, well, he blame me. That's Protest why I'm saying it. I'm a little apprehensive today. This seems to be kind of a, a weird day yeah. on the set. Let's be careful, folks. Nothing Nobody more do weird nothing than, than our producer, so well, let's don't worry about, about it. As I try and dry off, I'm going to see Poor what kind thing. of mood Fred is in. Uh, Did he get wet? You think Fred knows it's April Fool's as well? Good morning, Fred. Uh, what game are we going to be playing? All right, Freddy! <laughs> gotcha! April Fool's! Everybody's a winner and everybody's a comedian, April and even, even Fred. Now, Fred, that was very amusing, but I think everybody at home wants to know what game we're going to be playing besides the free space game, which, I mean, it'd be great. Imagine how much money we'd give away. Mm -hmm. I think we ought to try again, Fred. What's it going to be? Well, uh, take your time. Okay, I guess he means it's going to be any row. Oh, that's Any good. row today. We'll that's see what the computer you. can come up with. But folks, uh, even though it's April Fool's Day, you still need a bingo break card to play along with us. Right now, Bob Jones is standing by to tell you where you can go to pick one up. Basics Food Centers, simply the best. Neighbor Care Pharmacies, care you can depend on. And Metro Food Markets, what a supermarket was meant to be. Okay, folks, remember when you stop by one of those great locations, uh, the cards are absolutely free. There's no purchase necessary. Check out to make sure you've got the valid date of play. And remember, the card is good for five days. Five games to play a new one every day. And uh, we're playing any row today, so let's see what happens when we start uh, cranking up the popper and pulling some numbers. Hey. <laughs> You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be one of those days. Uh, what happened? Oh, what do you, you didn't mean see what that happened? Either, right? Let's see. How many did we lose Sean, here? Sean, I think I know who okay, it is. Okay, I think I've got them all back. I think I What's, know who it is. Something go wrong? Uh, you know, there's a little piece of the popper we're missing. Uh, that somebody. <laughs> who well, could it be? It's your responsibility. You're the bingo master. Uh, let's uh -huh. see if we can get this and going here. you didn't know here. anything about no, it, right? Of course not. Laying dead over here in the corner. Yeah. Right, I think we business. have to try it one more time, uh, Bob. Why's here we go. We're going to crank up the machine and see what happens this time. Today today here on Bingo Break. Our first number up is going to be B1. B1. Franksters. 061 is the next number, 061. Any row now, this could be uh, very interesting. Now we're going to need a number though from uh, all the columns. And here we have G60, G60. Fourth number is I16, spread them out, I16. And the last one for this round is G59. G59. And uh, 
Hopefully we won't have any more mishaps over here, just winners here in the first round. That is just the first round. We've got uh, round two coming up later on, but uh, right now let's go back over with Bob and Karen. We're going to have to be very careful today. Let me remind everybody that Linda and Gail are here, and they won't be fooling around. We'll be back right after this. Stay with us. <laughs> The Bingo Breaks Own Dave Smith 5 is next when we return. What's the matter, Dave? <coughs> what is the matter? I don't know. I don't hear anything. Who's been, who did this? Oh. <laughs> That's not funny. Bob, look at that. That's I, awful. You that, know anything about this, Bob? That's disgusting. That's I'm appalled. Humiliating. Yeah. Appalled. How do you think I feel? You, off the side of the set wow. Well, maybe it'll work. What was that? I'm, I'm going to apologize for whoever did that, Dave. Thank you very I much. Think you I think should. it was you. I'll take care of him, too. Or her. <laughs> huh? When I catch up to them. Huh? Him or her, oh, no. whomever it may no. be. It, it, Sean, do you know anything about this? Could have been a team effort. I, are you ready to do no. something now musically? You think you can uh, oh, yeah. whack something out for us? Oh, you're going to dance. Twist and shout? Preach. Our own Dave Smith <laughs> Five. Twisting and shouting. Let's do it. Shake it up, baby. Shake it up, baby. Twist and shout. Twist and shout.
Hey, Dave, I don't want to say anything, but those two uh, blues brothers behind you there uh, look a little shady to me. I'd, yeah, they keep, cost me a lot of money. I'd, I'd keep your eye on those two guys as far as, you know, fooling around with your equipment and stuff. That's, you know. Are we ready to play? Why not? Can yeah, it's nice game? to see uh, Dave's uh, equipment is working once again. How's your equipment doing? My equipment's fine. Check yours out. Uh-oh. I've been trying. Uh, <laughs> Considering boy. what happened earlier, I'm a little bit uh, apprehensive. Well, but just we'll see what happens. Over there. Uh, Fred's even in the... And I'm sure everything will be fine. Yes, well, Fred... I have nothing to do with it. Anything. Yes, uh, that innocent all. face nothing. over there. Well, Fred uh, has gotten in the April Fool's mood, but uh, we're very serious about this game here. It's... Uh, any row and uh, folks in order to play a game like this or one we play every day you have to have a bingo break card and right now bob jones is standing by to tell you once again where you can go to pick one up any of the 13 baltimore area basics food centers where you'll find simply the best prices every day neighbor care pharmacies care you can depend on at over 20 locations low price prescriptions and free delivery and Metro Food Markets, what a supermarket was meant to be. Now at five exciting new locations. And folks, remember when you stop by one of those exciting locations, the cards are absolutely free. Just stop in, make sure you got a valid date of play. And there's some very important information <laughs> on the back of the card, unless, of course, it's ripped away from you. Uh, very funny. I'm going to get every one of you. Check out the back of the card. There's some important information. Uh, it will tell you... Uh, I wish I had the card to show you, uh, that there are only so many days you have to redeem your winning card. So uh, check it out, and let's get back to this game. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, well, <laughs> those balls have nothing to do with this game. Uh, first one up for this round is G57. G57. I know where you live. Next one is G49. G49. G's are filling up, but remember we're playing any row, so we need to get them all the way across the board. That's N42. N42. Okay. He's over there. That's our first one in the end column. Next entry is I20. Keep it up with us now, Fred. So, I-20. Okay, and the last one for this round is G-51. G-51. Bingo! Yeah! Fred, are you just fooling me or what? <laughs> it's been one of those days. Anyway, folks, uh, I guess we came up with a bingo here. Don't know how we did it, but uh, that's what Fred says, and I don't think he's April fooling us, so we're going to give him a chance to uh, check it out, and I think he has the card set, so let's take a look at the winning numbers. They are as follows, uh, B1, I20, we got a free B in the end column, that is the free space. Uh, after that, it's G51 and O61. Once again, that is B1, I20, we've got the free space, G51 and O61. 61. And the winning card number is 2199. And uh, congratulations, you've just won $25 if you have that card in front of you, 2199. And you're now eligible for the bonus round. Uh, we're not going to have a third round because we've had a bingo. <laughs> it just goes with the way this whole day has been going. And who knows what's going to happen next. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more bingo break after this. We tap the psychic universe for new insight and answers when the bingo break returns. Hey, I hope you got a chance to watch last week when Gail Summer was here with psychic Linda Sonnenleiter, and uh, they told Sean some things that uh, really surprised him. <laughs> Like, like that he and his wife wanted a baby, and of course you didn't even necessarily know that he was married, whether or not he had children, that kind of thing. But it was very, uh, it was pretty interesting to Sean. So, you, you two since, are back today. Since our show last week, um, we actually had a call for someone who would like mm -hmm. Linda to work on a case, and she doesn't even know about this yet. Uh, it's a lady this in Florida. Florida. A lady. A what? You guys need lessons, but I need a psychic. 
Is there a psychic <gasps> Excuse around here? Excuse me. Is there anybody who's a psychic? Yes, but we're trying to the, do a are show you the here. The psychic you're the is psychic, here. Right? I'm the Please. astrologer. You're the astrologer. This is the astrologer. Psychic. This is hi. Hi, I'm Karen. Bobby Heenan with World uh, World Championship Wrestling. Oh, um, oh well, Bobby, would you like to come yes, over and have I, a seat I, here? I, I need a psychic, real bad. This is Linda Sonnenleiter. She's a psychic. Hi, How are Linda. You? Why do you need a psychic, real because bad? Because I've, I've had some feelings lately. I've, I need my feet red. You need your feet red. Yes. Linda, do you no. read feet? No, I read bumps on the head, though. You and I think you've had a few. Yeah. I've had a few over the years, but I mean, I, I, I have this feeling that um, <laughs> animals are following me. Big, hairy apes, like things like that. Really? I need my feet red. I had a woman do it once in Newark, who was outside of Tibet, and she read my feet, and I, when I took my shoes off, I had odor eaters on, and she disappeared, so I never got to see her again. I thought, maybe you could help me out, man. I can do this nude, too. No, don't do that. No, okay. No, next well, time. Next you time you put come. put your foot up here? Go ahead. I can always do something new. Okay. Let's, Let's see. <laughs> oh, okay, now we first. know what the problem was. <laughs> flat feet. You got flat okay. feet. Well, so is my sister. You know. Uh-huh. From what, I could, from what I can feel from the vibrations coming from your foot here, okay, um, there's... Do them both while you're up. Okay, okay. Uh, mm, they smell good. Uh, they do? Uh, they do. I've okay, I'm sure. Case all day. I'm seeing this, Linda's I'm very seeing different. this tall, blonde lady. Oh, yes. Okay. Into the couch. Uh, <laughs> Wait a minute. Very very attractive and she's got a proposition that's coming up for you in the next two weeks here that's going to be very interesting okay uh -huh. in fact I'm seeing here over the next month that there's at least a ten thousand dollar retainer or something coming for you a ten thousand dollar <laughs> retainer yeah. I thought you know, he really needed a psychic. He's, right, that's right. all right, because I'm massaging his feet. Are ticklish? No, no, no. I'm trying to relax his body. Oh, it's working. It's working. Yes. <laughs> you know, he's got, he's got really hyper energy, but he's a, yeah. he can be quite a cream puff. He's got a soft spot right here. See right that? Right here? Right there. there? Feel that? You yeah, think he's got a few in his head, too? Ah, oh, I had to see the bumps on his head to find out whether they're soft, hard, medium, or... Where am I? Hi, I'm Linda. Linda, Linda hi. Is this and a I'm Karen. show? No, it's not. I've seen so many ladies on one show. What are you doing with my shoes? Who are you? She's the psychic that you came in to talk to. I didn't come in to talk to anybody for a psychic. Yeah, you did. I came here to get my parking finalized. Do you know who you are? Yes, I am. Who? I'm a psychic. My name is Lisa, right? Linda? <laughs> Linda. Lisa? Yeah. You're a psychic? We used to be married. We, we, had, uh, we had nine kids together, one of each, and what a nice lady. <laughs> When do we play uh, Domino Bingo, or what do they call this here? This is a television show. It's called Bingo. But you're in the United States on Earth. Oh uh, yes, yes, mm -hmm. most of me. Okay. Yes. Another planet. Uh, so let's play some. Hey, saw him and Earl Scheid this morning. Good work. Um, <laughs> when do we get to do something here? Can I play in the band, or can I sit on the couch, or can I just hang around? Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, Any of those things. You want to do? You're kidding. Yes. <laughs> no, whatever you like. What would you like to play in the band? No, would I'd you... like to play bingo. I'd well, like we have a bingo. game to play over here. Let's play it. Okay, let's play it. You're a little late, Mr. Heenan. You can't play the game. No, we've already had a winner. And it's done. Gave you away a come lot back. of money. We gave away all this money. If you were here, what? There's no money left? Ten minutes ago. No, not today. You could come Sorry. back another time, maybe. What? You got a lot of money? No money. Is it? A money on another day. Else. We're, we're, we're going to have anything? to take a look. Yes, we do. We'll show you some stuff. We're going to have to take a little break here, but we'll show okay. you some stuff. Folks, April room? Fool, we'll be back. Margarita? <laughs> We'll spin the $500 bingo break bonus wheel after these messages. Well, welcome back to Bingo Break. Uh, card uh, number 21991 today. And uh, folks, uh, oh. wait a That isn't the winning number, is it? I don't know. I haven't picked it yet. Hey, you know, you look really familiar to me. Yeah, so do you. Johnny. Oh. Don't you have your own show with a I bunch used of strange to. acts? And yes, yes. Just like this one. Kind of. <laughs> anyway, folks, you're going to want to know where you can get uh, your money. And uh, Bob Jones is standing by to tell you where you can go. So like an Redeem your winning bingo break card with your personal ID at any American National Savings Bank. The standard of financial excellence at nine convenient locations in the Baltimore area to serve you. 
Now, what we do here, Mr. Heenis, you know, I'm going to spin the big wheel, and if a bonus symbol comes up, they're going to win five hundred dollars. Want to spin it? Sure. Go ahead. Give it. Give it everything you got. A little more than that. Just. Oh. There you go. Oh, watch. Not too close. The buzz saw. I knew a girl with zits once like this. Yeah, a long story. It's a long story. Okay, and it's going to be the lucky diamond. You just gave away 500 bucks. What do you think about that? Why don't we give him 200 and I split the rest? Can we do that? Why don't we go over and visit with our friends? Okay, let's go do that. Okay. Actually, the 500 is coming out of your pocket, Bobby. He probably wouldn't mind. Huh? With the original deep pockets, Heenan? Hey, nothing's too good for my friends. Huh? Nothing's too good you for my friends. You gotta come up with the see? 500 clams for the winner out there. Well, that's probably not paid for anyway. It doesn't really matter. Did well, you get a chance to meet Francois? Yes, I Bonjour. did. You can call him Frank. Bonjour. Frank. Bonjour. Francois. Now, folks. That is, that is the, wait, wait a minute. I have to do some business here. Excuse me, guys. 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 You just Pardon stop. me. Excuse me. Stop. Stop. Stop it. Everybody. Stop. If you would like to contact one of the psychics who are on the show, you can call the American Association of Professional Psychics, 1-800-207-2. 772. And get your foot red. No. Well, they can do that, how obviously. Do they, how do they contact you now? How do they contact me? They leave a number over this dispenser in uh, the Newark uh, bus station. It's never mind. It's a long story. It was also on the wall over at Kmart. We I have saw to go. See, see you all. See you all. Go to the band. Be careful. April <laughs> Break is an ITI production. Watch that tie. Watch that tie.